Hello everyone, how are you? Today we are going to start about uh, start another question. Let's have the question. A 35 years old farm laborer injured the posterior aspect of his hand with a mechanical scythe. He severed some of the extensor tendon in this injury. How many tunnels lies in the extensor retina column that transmit the tendon of extensor muscles? So here we can see uh, a old farmer injured in the posterior aspect of his hand. So posterior aspect that means extensor aspect of the hand. So in this case the tendon of extensor muscles will be injured. But here the uh, question is how many tunnels how many tunnels in extensor retina column so here the, we have to finally look here how many tunnel present in the extensor retina column of the hand or in the wrist so here we can see the options are 1 3 4 5 6 so we have to find out how many tunnel present in the extensor aspect of the hand so here we can see the extensor aspect of the uh, forearm or hand here we can see uh, the tendons uh, these are the tendons the two tendons another two one four tendons one one and the tendons here the tendons the tendons uh, they are separated from each other with some of the fascial structure and each of this area is called one of the compartment here we can see that is compartment number one that is two three four five six so it is clear that in the extensor retina column there are six compartment and in the six compartment different muscle group passes so here you can see the radius and ala ala lies in the inner part or medial part and radius lies in the lateral part and the compartment starts from the lateral part and it extends up to the medial part so in another picture we here we can see the whitish structure this is the extensor retina column and below the extensor retina column there are different group of muscle passing through here, and here we can see uh, the color such as this color compartment one this another color two three four five six so here they uh, they shows the compartment uh, by the color so here this table is also important here the muscles of the six compartment are shown here compartment number one compartment one here here we can see here present the policies group here present policies this is abductor policies longus extensor policies longus it is compartment number one here the compartment number two in case of compartment number two we uh, can see here the extensor carpi radial is longus, extensor carpi radial is brevis. Compartment number three, it is extensor pollicis longus. Compartment four, it is extensor digitrum longus or uh, communis and extensor indices pulpavis or extensor indices. Five, fifth compartment here, extensor digiti minimi and sixth compartment, it is extensor carpi ulnaris. So we have to remember some of the compartment which is very important for MRCS exam. So in case here we can see the compartment number 1 and compartment number 3. They are policies group. So compartment 1, compartment 2, they are policies group. It is now easy to remember that all policies muscle are present in the compartment 1 and compartment 3. So, in case of compartment 1, here abductor policies and extensor policies. Abductor policies longus and extensor policies brevis. And compartment 3, this policies is extensor policies longus or it is EPL. Compartment number 3, it is EPL. And compartment 1, it is EPB. Extensor policies brevis and abductor policies longus. And compartment number 2. Compartment number two, it is dedicated to radialis group. So compartment number two, it is dedicated to 
radialis muscles such as extensor carpi radialis longus and extensor carpi radialis brevis and compartment 4 compartment 4 here we can see we can see here the compartment 4 compartment 4 it is dedicated to digiturum digiturum group digiturum and extensor indices here and compartment 5 it is for dgt minimi and compartment 6 it is ala compartment 6 it is ala extensor carpi alaris so we can uh, remember like this uh, such as compartment 1 compartment 3 it is uh, dedicated to the policies group compartment 2 it is dedicated to the radialis group compartment 5 and 6 they are most medial group and compartment 5 and 6 6 is the most medial that means ala group and compartment 5 it is the dgt minimi group and compartment 4 that is here uh, this is another um, important to remember that uh, compartment 4 4 mean 4 tendon divided into 4 finger so we can remember by this the compartment 4 that means uh, extension to the digiturum uh, communis uh, it divided into 4 group so here uh, by these tricks we can easily remember the compartment of the extensor uh, retinaculum and uh, also the muscle which lies in the different compartment so here we can see another uh, picture here showing uh, the groups so finally uh, our answer this is now ready that uh, tunnel total six tunnel present in the extensor retinaculum thank you